New Jersey's own Liv Morgan, Bergen County, representing here at Fanatics. How are you? I'm doing great. Today was a good day. Thank you for asking. All right, so I got to ask you this, because I see all the bracelets on your arm. Those yeah. are gifts from fans today? <laughs> yeah, all gifts from fans today. Lots of Liv Morgan Revenge Tour, lots of Daddy Dom, lots of Watch Me. The Daddy Dom is my favorite, though. Now, the last time I spoke to you, I believe it was the day after WrestleMania, it was mm -hmm. myself, uh, Bubba Ray Dudley, Mark Henry. I remember. And um, you said, watch tonight. Watch Raw tonight. And it seemed from that Raw on, just a complete career shift yeah. for you. Just talk about what this these last few months have been for you. Um, I feel like I've worked my whole career for the success that I've had these last four or five months. Um, I'm just happy. I really don't know how else to put it. I'm happy. I feel like I put in the work. Um, I feel like there's a difference between um, it's your turn and it's your time. And I feel like this is my time. Jelly Roll told me that at SummerSlam. <laughs> um, and I just feel like it's my time. And so I'm just owning it. I'm soaking it in. And I'm just trying to do everything justice. So I'm just super duper duper happy. Well, you're definitely doing justice to that world championship <laughs> that you're holding. Congratulations on all that. But also just the storytelling. You know, we always talk about this business being storytelling. And it, it feels like the story that you've been able to tell has really been the story that everybody's been interested yeah, over crazy. those last few months. It's crazy, yeah. We're, um, I'm just enjoying everyone watching and tuning in. Um, I'm enjoying people loving it. I'm enjoying people hating it. It seems like it's quite polarizing. And so it's just fun to see how everyone reacts to what we're doing. Is it weird for you that even though in this story that you're telling, you're, you're kind of the bad guy in this situation, <laughs> but yet, I, I'm one of them. I, w I was among the 57,000 at SummerSlam that was cheering you on. Thank Does you. it surprise you how many fans are attracted to this character? No, it doesn't surprise me because I feel like I am very justified in all of my actions. And I feel like it's something that maybe people can relate to, you know, g getting revenge, getting their lick back, getting back to someone that's hurt them, that's wronged them or maybe they didn't get back to that person and they wish that they did, yeah. you know? Um, and so I'm just being as true to myself as I can in this moment. Um, and I'm just I'm just happy that everything went exactly the way that I well, thought it would. <laughs> it didn't surprise me, I'm Jersey, so I almost feel like- Yeah, people, you know, you were you like, what was in store. I feel like you planned this out at Hula Hands on Route 17. Like, you know, like I just feel like That's this- still open? No, it just closed, yeah. actually. <laughs> I planned it out at Blue 42 <laughs> over some wings. Um, no, this was very methodical. This is very planned out, and it's gone exactly the way that I had hoped and expected it to. And so, um, I don't know, Rhea's just an idiot, huh? Yeah, I was, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to say that, but I understand where you're coming from. But also that championship title, like, it's one thing to be involved in the story. It's one thing to be in a main event on Monday Night Raw. It's another thing to be a world champion. Like I look back at the documentary that we've seen on the WWE so Network, funny. where it started from, and then, you know, it kind of finished with like, all right, you gotta trust the process. All right, well, that only goes so far. But do you feel like trusting the process is where got you where you For are me, now? For me, yes. Um, I think you could ask five different people, and you'd get maybe like five different answers. Um, some people, like, you know, they say the squeaky wheel gets the grease, you know, and um, that's just not something that I personally relate to. Um, I relate to trying to do things the right way, just working hard, um, keeping my head down, just trying to let my work mm -hmm. speak for itself and hoping that that'd be enough to get me to this point. And um, it might have taken way longer than I thought or longer than anyone else's journey, um, but to be here on the other side, it's so much more fulfilling because I know that I did things my way and I've earned it. That's you know? awesome. Yeah. That's awesome to Thank hear. You. And also you did it your way, but the fans wanted it too. Yeah. The fans never left your side. I they know, always had your I back. Know. I know. Even in moments where I feel like um, I was giving them nothing to really like hold on to, they still held on to me. And uh, now here we are on the other side.
women's world champion. <laughs> Congratulations. I know this has been a long day, but I think it shows you how far you've come, that so many people want to meet you, be a part of, yeah. of this with you. So thanks for the time and congratulations on everything. Thank you.